Okay, so. This is like my fifth attempt at filming this, I think. And I still don't know how to do this properly. I don't know where to put my hands. Like, what do people do? Do I just, no. I also don't know if my neighbors can hear me. Like, what if they can? Because they know that I never have people over, like, ever. So, if they can hear me, they're gonna think I have, like, finally reached my breaking point and started talking to myself. Okay, I'm gonna dive right in. Um, why am I doing this is a very good question. The easiest reason being because I want to and nobody can stop me. The first time I actually thought about you know, pursuing this whole video editing, um, like, vlog, whatever you want to call it kind of thing was when I was 13. And I really, really wanted to do it. It was like this very big plan of mine. I had all these like video ideas laid out and I was ready to go. Unfortunately, it was also the time where my mental health took a very drastic you know, turn, and my anxiety was the worst that it has ever been. As I said, wait, where? Oh, I started showing like signs of anxiety when I was 11 or 12, so like very early on. People didn't really notice until I was like 14, 15, because that was when, you know, it hit the fan. My brain just, and this sounds very dramatic, I know, but my brain just kind of like sh shut down and went into survival mode. That time was basically consisted of me trying to make it till the end of the day so I could, you know, get some rest and then wake up the next morning to do the whole thing over again, you know, like trying to figure out what was going on. And it left me with very little energy and very little like mental capacity to think about anything else. So I had to kind of like put the whole video editing plans on ice because I just, I didn't have the energy and time for it. Obviously this whole anxiety thing is a part of me and I'm not ashamed of it. I still know, or I think that it has taken away quite a bit for me. I've come to that realization over the past couple months because this year has been, you know, but it has also, you know, given me the space to just reevaluate and, and rethink some of the choices that I made in life. One of them being, you know, never doing the whole YouTube thing just because one, the whole anxiety thing, and then two, I was just deathly afraid of people thinking that it was cringe. And now I feel like I'm in a space where I can I can try to make up for the things that I m missed back then. I just don't want the whole you know, anxiety getting in the way of, of me pursuing the things that, I, that I'm passionate about um, be the narrative of my story moving forward. Because it, it used to be, and it, it has been for the longest time, and I just, I don't want that anymore. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm trying to be in my, doing something for myself, and, and trying not to give a f about what everybody else thinks era. Which, it's, you know, it's tough for someone who has crippling anxiety and, and the constant fear of people hating her. I don't know, I have a feeling that this is something that I have to do for myself. And it's, it's okay to do something for yourself every now and then. For some, it's getting your favorite meal and, and putting on a show. And then for, for me, it's just um, oversharing on the internet. And that's fine. <laughs> I don't know where my fidget cube is. I kind of need it. Um, because I'm constantly like, you know, doing that. It's stressing me out that I don't know. Oh, found it! I was stressing about nothing, as always. I don't really know where exactly I'm gonna go with this whole thing. It's probably just gonna be a, a little bit of everything. And then once I feel comfortable enough, I don't know when that will be. It might be right away, it might be in a couple of weeks, months, I don't know. Eventually, I wanna 
you know, dive in to the, the topics that are important to me too, which for one is the whole mental health and anxiety thing. Besides all that, you know, talking about it, I just, I make a lot of remarks and like a lot of jokes about it. It's just the way that I deal with it, you know? And that's okay, I think. I don't know. And, you know, obviously, apart from doing this for myself, I kind of hope that I can create a safe space for other people as well. Because I know what it feels like to just, you know, need 10 to 20 minutes a day to get out of your own head, put on a show, put on your favorite YouTubers, whatever, and just, you know, be able to, to shut everything off that is going on up there by, you know, watching someone else do their thing. If I can create those 10 to 20 minutes of peace for someone by uploading a video of me doing my own thing and talking to a camera while doing so, then that's what I'm gonna do. Obviously, it's not gonna be perfect from the start, like I have a lot to learn, but I'm gonna figure it out along the way because that's what I've always done and yeah, I am very excited to see where where it goes. The, the battery sign has been blinking for quite a while now. I wonder when it's gonna cut me off.